Hello and welcome to Ivory Blush Roses. My name is Lisa and today I'm making candied orange peel. I learned how to make this from my adopted grandma, Florence, when I was in high school. The recipe is in the description box below. I bought a big bag of navel oranges with thick skins, but you can make this recipe with just a couple of pieces of fruit at a time. The first task is to quarter the oranges, removing the hard stem piece. Next, I remove the fruit segments and put them in a bowl. I'll set these aside for snacks, or sometimes I'll blend them up and strain them to make orange juice. Once all the peel is quartered and the segments are removed, cut the peel into strips about a quarter of an inch thick and place them in a saucepan or pot large enough to hold all the peel with room to spare. I like that there's little waste with the oranges. The only thing that's going to get thrown away is what's in that little bowl. I added the peel to a slightly bigger pan, but you'll see shortly that I had to put it in a still larger one. Add enough water to cover the peel and bring it to a boil. I moved it into the big stock pot as it was boiling all over the stove. Now let it boil for about 10 minutes. Reduce the temperature as needed to keep it at a nice steady boil that doesn't overflow the pan. I put a colander in the bottom of the sink and then I drained the peel. Put the peel back in the pot and fill it with water to cover. And repeat the boiling and draining process two more times. If your peel is really bitter, such as with grapefruit peel, you can boil and drain up to five times, but I find that three are usually sufficient. Now it's coming to a boil for the second time. Again, I boiled it for about 10 minutes. This boiling and draining process helps to remove the bitter compounds in the peel, but leaves the flavor behind. Then drain it again. It smells wonderful at this point. Cover the peel with water and bring it to a boil for a third time. Boil again about 10 minutes. Mushu always has to be nearby to watch what's going on. Drain again and this time put all the peel in the colander and let it drain. Once the peel is fully drained, measure out the peel. It's hot so use tongs. I used a two cup measuring cup. Out of a whole bag of oranges, I got eight cups of peel. Now set the peel aside for a few minutes. Rinse out the big pot and dry. It's time to make the sugar syrup. The amount of syrup you need depends on how many cups of peel you have. You can do only one or two oranges at a time if you'd like and adjust the syrup quantities accordingly. The ratio is a quarter cup of water to half a cup of sugar for every cup of peel. So for eight cups of peel, I needed four cups of sugar. Wow, that couldn't have been more perfect. And two cups of water. Now we're going to put the sugar and water on the stove and boil it gently to help the sugar dissolve. Stir this frequently to keep it from burning. As the sugar dissolves, it gets more and more transparent. Okay. 
Not quite there yet. There we go. Now you can see that it's completely clear. As soon as it's transparent and at a full boil, it's time to add the orange peel into it. The orange peel is quite soft at this point, so be gentle with it. Stir gently until the peel is coated in syrup. Bring it to a boil and adjust the temperature and let it simmer gently until the orange peel turns translucent. Stir it every few minutes, being gentle so the orange peels don't break up. You can see that the edges are starting to turn just a little bit. In my experience, depending on the thickness of your orange peels, it can take anywhere from 15 minutes to half an hour or more. And now it's actually gone pretty translucent. Notice that the white is completely gone and has changed color. The darker portion of the peel is somewhat translucent. You can see the light shining through it. The syrup is nearly all gone, and that means it's been absorbed into the peel, and that's what you want. I probably could have let this batch go just a tiny bit longer. Now drain it one last time. You can save the little bit of extra orange syrup to use in baking if you like. Use it to replace an equal portion of sugar in your recipe. It makes yummy orange rolls or orange icing. When I made these, I knew I wasn't going to be using it in the near future, so I just discarded it. While the peel is draining, set up cookie sheets and cooling racks to dry the peel on. You'll also want a shallow bowl filled with granulated sugar. Then roll the orange peels in the granulated sugar until lightly coated, and place them on the cooling rack. The rack allows the air to circulate so they will dry evenly. I found that I prefer the slightly coarser granulated sugar rather than the fine cane sugar for rolling the peel. It ends up a little prettier and more sparkly. I used cane sugar here because that was what I had on hand. It turns out well either way. For a completely different look, you could also roll the peel in powdered sugar. Once all the peel has been rolled, let it air dry for several hours or overnight. Once it's dry to the touch, you can package it up. It's such a lovely bright color, a real jewel on the table of Christmas treats. If you'd like to try fancy variations, once the peel is dry, you can dip the peel halfway into melted chocolate coating. Lemons and grapefruit make yummy candied peel as well. I hope you've enjoyed watching me make one of our family's favorite and most requested Christmas treats. I'd love to know if you make this recipe. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.